Hey, Benny and Kids. Hi, Becca. guys. I'm Steph. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We love Christmas time. We love Christmas. Steph, did you see that I added a garland onto the tree? I'm trying to make it, you know, I keep finding all these Christmas decorations. We need to use them. It's it like, looks so we good. Celebrate. And speaking of things I found, you have a lot of decorations. No, I I'm found, very impressed. I found a nativity scene. It like shows us all, everyone and everything that was there when Jesus was born. So I thought, are we going to put this out and maybe this will kind of help us, right? Because we're trying to answer, yeah, why Jesus' birthday is such a big deal. So I'm you hoping. Know, I've really been thinking about this a lot. Okay. We've talked to Nova. We've talked to Melody. She's a sheep. And I just can't figure out who else we could ask. They, they were both great at helping okay. us get some more information about Jesus' birthday. Yep. But, I mean, I'm just... I'm stuck. I don't know where else to go from here. Well, normally what we do when we don't know where to go is we check out the Bible and see. That usually helps okay. us figure some things out. That's actually a great idea. So maybe we'll see. I'm going to go to Luke. There. There's some Mary. Okay. It says oh! in Santa, is Santa. Santa was in the helper. All right, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. A census. Oh, um, census. That's like when you, like, count people. Like, they have to just keep track of how many people they are, so they, like, count them. Oh, so they okay. had to go and home to be counted. Yep, and uh -huh. everyone went to their own town to register. Okay. So mm -hmm. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Okay, so... That we, doesn't help us. Well, we know that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. So, they Joseph travel. must have been, because he's from the line of King David, right? He's a great, 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 great grandson of King David. That's right. So he needed to go home to be counted. So they had to How travel. How they get there? How? <gasps> Uber? Tandem bike? Hoverboard? Scooter? The donkey! I bet they took the donkey! I just listed so many cool ways to get around and you're going to choose a donkey? They didn't have hoverboards. That's such a bummer. Hoverboards are awesome. They are pretty okay, cool. so you think, I mean, maybe that's why there's that, like, cloth on top of the donkey? Yeah, I think they, they rode the donkey. We should, we should okay. find the donkey and talk to the donkey next. I mean, I don't think that's what I would pick to ride on, but, I mean, I guess we can see if there's a donkey we can talk to, see what happens. Yeah. Oh, hey, it looks, it looks like you're right. Awesome. Hi. Um, Hi, donkey. I'm Becca, and I'm Steph. Steph, Steph and, what, um. What's your name? Um, uh, uh, we were hoping to talk to you today about um, Jesus' birthday and why that's so important and why we celebrate it so different than any other birthday. You Did think? you know Jesus? Oh, oh, <laughs> um, so we're not talk. he's just going to ring a bell. I think that means yes. Did you know Mary and Joseph? Okay. Were you there when Jesus was born? Okay, okay, so we're, we're going to learn some stuff, it sounds like. Okay, so, um, well, okay, maybe you were there the night that Jesus was born, and I bet it was just, like, this incredible thing, and it was beautiful out, and it was just a one... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That means, um, no. Um, Mag magical? I, Maybe it was magical, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think that means no? I'm confused. I mean, there's no I think bell that's dinging, a no. so it, that's a no. The bell, I think, is yes, and the. Oh, oh, okay. There you go. All right, okay. okay. So, okay. I, here's a. All right. So I get it. Like when you're about to have a baby, maybe it's it's very stressful, and so you know you got to like pack. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you got to pack your bag, and you got to get ready to go, and so you just get everything together, and you're all excited. And so you get to the hospital, and you get checked in, and you get your amazing birthing suite, and you're all ready to go. Yeah. 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 No. 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 There is no hospital. Okay. Oh, okay. There. There was.
wasn't a no hospital. hospital. Eeyaw. Eeyaw. Okay. okay, well, so if, I mean, I don't know where else you would have a baby if you're not having a baby in a hospital. Well, you'd be surprised where you can have a baby without a hospital. Uh, it wasn't a hospital. We came into town and Mary was tired and so was Joseph and honestly, so was I. And we tried to get a room in an inn. Do you know what an inn is? Uh, I think it, I think it's like, like a, an Airbnb. A hotel or something? Well, it's a little different than the hotels that you're used to. But okay. we tried to get a room, yes. But there was no room in that inn. And Joseph asked and asked. Okay, sometimes that happens. When you go to reserve an Airbnb, they're all full. And so like when that happens, you go, oh, I didn't get the one I wanted. So you have to reserve another one. So your Airbnb was full. So you had to just go to another one, right? There was no other inn. We did stay in the barn. That was the only place we could go. Wait. They stayed in the barn? What do you mean they stayed in the barn? They said no at the inn and they said we could stay in their barn and so that's where we went. Uh, in the stinky barn? Hey now, that's my home. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. And it's just there's lots of animals and it's always stinky whenever I've been in a barn and I'm sure your barn was really nice though. Mm. So, um, you stayed in the barn. Yes. But, I mean, there was probably a crib and stuff. Like, yeah. they probably had... Yo, yo, there was no crib for that newborn baby. That there is, was no crib. That's not true. That's not true. I have heard all the Christmas songs and all those things that say Jesus was born and they wrapped him in cloth and they placed him in a manger. And I know that wait, a manger wait, wait. is just another word for crib. No, no, it is not a crib. <laughs> oh. It's not a crib. Oh, dear. I haven't heard something so funny in a long time. I My goodness, it is me. not a crib. It was a manger. Do you know what a manger is? Apparently not. I guess not. I well, it's it where the crib. animals eat their dinner. I was eating in that manger about a half hour before baby Jesus was born. Ew. Ew! Well, they tried to clean that up as best they could. So they literally put Jesus in the place where the animals had just had their dinner? You got it right. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay, well, um, Jesus was born in a barn, and so we've learned all these things about Jesus, but now we're seeing that he's just like a normal guy born to like super normal people so maybe what we're learning also is that like jesus is fully god he's god's son and he's fully human okay so i i think this is helpful right mm -hmm. what we're learning about and what we're trying to figure out is Jesus' birthday is the most important birthday ever, ever, and we celebrate it way different than we celebrate any other birthday. So right. I think this is really helpful. helpful. Steph, yeah. we have been so rude. Like, we didn't even ask our friend the donkey for his name. Um, You're right. We're so sorry about that. We introduced ourselves. We forgot to ask you it your name. It was so nice to meet you. What, yeah. What's your name? Um, I think he's gone. Kind of awkward. Well, I guess... That's that. Um. So let's let's just recap. Let's recap. Okay. What have we learned so far? We've learned that like Jesus is a really big deal, mm -hmm. and today we talked about Jesus being God's son, but also he was like a normal human, and like we learned about Jesus being a king, like the king of kings, but he lived in like a super normal house. He was born right. in like a barn, which is just like a normal person thing. And we've also learned that being with Jesus changes, changes people. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, some of this is helpful, I guess. I, yeah, I feel like I still have some more questions, but it's still helping us, I think, understand a little bit more about it Jesus. It definitely is. We should just keep praying about it, I think. Yeah, that's always really helpful because we read in the Bible, which is a good way to help us. And then another way is talking and listening to God. Yeah. So maybe we should do that now.
right. Do you want to pray for us? I would love to. Yeah, God, would you just meet us as we are trying to figure out why your son's birthday is such a big deal? Like, we love to celebrate Christmas and we love Jesus, but we want to know more. So would you continue to teach us more about who Jesus is and what that means for us as we follow him with our lives? Thank you for the gift of Christmas and thank you for Jesus being fully God and fully human and help us to continue to learn more. Would you be with us as we are preparing to celebrate Christmas? We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Man, that donkey was super awkward. I, you know, it happens. Ding, oh, speaking yes. of donkey, I will put our donkey back in. Steph, where is Santa and his helper? They were front and center. They were what completed the manger scene, and I don't see them anymore. Where did you put them? No one else has been here. You had to have been Bye. the one. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching for silence flocks by night, people throughout the heavens there shone a holy. Talent on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lonely manger, our humble Christ was born. And God sent us salvation on blessed Christmas. Morning. Go. Tell it on the top.